show the people the principle. Um, based on readily available products, these are made in China, you name it, India, you can get them by the boat boat. So they can't stop manufacturing this, it's a standard. Right? So what we have then is a series of spokes, and a spoke is actually rounded like so. And what happens is, this is in a very small tolerance space. So as this is moving along, air pressure builds up between the two, like so. So the faster you go, the more pressure is going to build up. But it's also being repelled and drawn by magnets. And, you know, like what? What is it? So what I'm going to do is take this as being the central axis part and the spoke is coming past. And what it will start to do, if I've got it the right way out, is going to push the magnets around. Now these have been all compressed together by another series of magnets that push them in. And then they go up and around the corner. When it goes around the corner, the momentum force is of course, when you change direction, action, reaction, this will cause the rotation of the... Now these are all compressing together. So close to that comes. More is compressed. If you let them go, that's the pressure involved. Because they're going to be contained they will come together so fast that the pressure builds up between them with a magnetic flux will compress them to the end of the chamber and then they'll fire them back while they're trying to make a rotation. Right. Now, if you do it slowly, you can see it working, it will try to speed up. The way it'll go. At the centre, we'll have a 200 mil set of magnets that are made up of all of these in plates. I'll show you on the CAD program soon. And you just turn that around until you get the speed you want. Because it's working on gravity, it's working on magnetic repulsion, it's working on compression of the air, it's working on the compression of the flux cores between the two, which was invented 777 years ago by a fellow named German Cores. All these numbers to do with 777. Mm. And also, we can put an artificial gravity on by putting large flat flat uh, magnets which are made of ferrule. I had one here before and I don't know what that one Something like that. Not that big. It's true like that. So that will set up a magnetic field underneath which will pull them down this way in a direction which is going to flow anyhow from the repulsion of the center of the magnet. And this will be pulled down by an artificial gravity as well as the earth gravity. So you've got two gravities, and it should work out to be about um, two to one over unity. In other words, for 24 uh, wheels, segments of the wheel, when it's coming around, because of the shape of the wheel, they'll be wanting to pull up and be repelled to the centre of the wheel and pulled in at the centre of the wheel at the same time. And then it comes up to the 90 degree angle because this is up and around the corner. These will be fired upwards by another inclination towards a magnetic cause, which is now the North Pole, we're going the North Pole, and set it up and built it around the corner. And that actual reaction will also add to the momentum it's been. It's crazy. That's free for the world. Cat program, pick it up, send it anywhere in the world to any laser company, and then you start making those with acrylic, with plywood, whatever you like. It's going to have four little drives on it. You can take power off anywhere you like, put car alternators on it, gives you 12 volts, and you can make an alternator run much more efficiently. And then an alternator, in fact, if it's rewired correctly, will add, rather than take from, the power of the magnetic motor. Because it's running so efficiently, you feed it back into itself, and these things become driving magnets, right? And then you've got two other or three other uh, alternators, and those alternators each can put out 160 amps or more. Run a big house on it. Imagine building that as big as. Uh, well, this thing is built layer upon layer, right? So we call it Catherine Wheel. So the Catherine Wheels go out as far as you like. So I'm building one entirely over, we call it, you can be able to see right.
run through it. You won't be able to see the fishing lines making turn. But you'll be able to see right through it. <laughs> the wheels within wheels. the other set of fishing line that makes it turn. <laughs> Classic line here. I'm describing this thing so you'll be able to see right through it. But you might be able to see the fishing line that makes it turn. <laughs> and that's the whole point. <laughs> Yeah. 